Here we are over in uh, the Cat's Brain area, Trench N. This is, this is Sarah's trench, she's supervising it. And this is over the possible long barrow. It's been identified from aerial photographs. So what we need to do now is excavate it. We've cleared the crops from the area. We've done some test pitting. We know exactly uh, what depth we need to go to with the machine now. We have um, archeology span showing up in some of the test pits, which is very, very exciting. And it's just a case now of machining back and exposing the archeology. span Hello, my name is Sarah and I'm the supervisor here at, at Cat's Brain site, which is part of the Marden Henge Vale of Pusey University of Reading Excavations Field School. And this is Trench N. What we are looking for here is an in enclosed long barrow. It, uh, it's enclosed because there's an enclosure ditch around it that's shaped, shaped like a horseshoe. This is day four of our excavations, it's Thursday, and thus far we have opened up 15 one metre test pits with our team of student archaeologists. Um, the purpose of those was to determine how deep the plough soil is and how far down we have to go before we find the archaeology. So um, this has been very successful. In most of the test pits we have come down to the natural, which is a chalky limestone that's quite compact. And cutting into those, the, the, the natural, we have found the uh, enclosure ditch exactly where we hope to find it, as, as determined by the geophysics. 